And we're back with another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. We're back here on what appears to be the Imperial Battleship, but in reality is just the Shadow Pokemon Lab. Here's an item. DNA sample? Ew! I don't wanna know whose that is. But anyway, yes, hopefully we're here to solve some further mysteries in regards to Shadow Pokemon and the like. Uh, we just defeated one trainer. Oh man, there's a- oh, hello! Sweeties, you've caused enough mischief already. Gah, so inconsiderate. Scythe for Peon Taney. Okay, well, we're thrust into a battle pretty much immediately. Thankfully, I have gone back and healed. I've also gone and I have purchased more Hyper Potions, I believe. <laughs> I hope that's what I did. My memory's not so good, but I think I did that. I still have Dunny Boy and Octagon up in front. And I know that Granville probably has Intimidate. Oh, and also... Speaking of Gramble, Shadow Gramble. Yeah, there's the Intimidate. I thought so. Um, well, thankfully, Dunny Boy's got Yawn. Um, so, we'll do that. And then I'll get some Purple Rain Dance, because why not? Because Octagon just feels like dancing. Yeah, quit it. Well, I would prefer... Actually, no. If that Lightning gets up a few Tail Whips, that could be pretty deadly. So, we should probably take that thing out as soon as possible. Again, I just wish Octagon to surf. That would holy crap that did a lot of damage. Thankfully got the yawn off. And I did not check how many Pokemon that this bitch had, so I should probably check. She has... <laughs> get on with it, Indoor Rain. Okay, she's got three, so we're going to get you the hell out of there. Going to Gligar, which I seem to be doing a lot. <laughs> I don't want to use this Gligar. The only reason I don't want to use Gligar is because I already have something that is a flying type and is four times weak to ice. I kind of want to cover my bases. So I would enjoy a ground type, but I also kind of want the other type to balance that out. And also I want something that's not weak to rock. I think ground would be an okay type to have, just not a ground flying type. I'm trying to think of what other ground types you could even use. I have a pillar sign as well, but I'm not using that. Uh oh. And that Gramble is a beast. Look at that. That's redonkulous. Okay, well if that Linoon survived the bubble beam, do you reckon Gramble would survive it? Okay, we could Shadow Rush Linoon, and you know what? Ooh, bubble beam, Gramble. Ah, quit it. This Linoon's pretty damn quick. Hopefully that didn't make me flinch. But now, of course, because I've said it, it's going to make me flinch. Okay, the Linoon's down there. Good job, Glega. Did it learn a new attack? I didn't check. It should have done. I'm sick of just using Shadow Rush. And a bigger off. Okay, well, we can't put that thing to sleep. Hey, okay, you didn't flinch. That's good. That's good. That's what we like to see. Okay, that's good. Um, I may want to use another attack on that bad boy. So, how about we Bobble Beam, Vigor off and Shadow Rush? Bramble? Sounds like a plan. Bubble Beam! I don't know how good Vigoroth's defenses are though. I suppose we'll find out. Look at Granbo, it's flapping its jaw around like it's Sir William Bottomtooth. Aha! For once that goes my way. I don't remember the opponent missing for a long time. Ah, quit it! Okay, well that's in Shadow Rush range, and of course it woke up. I don't know why I expected any less, to be honest. Holy, why does that do so much damage? That Gramble's a beast. Okay, that thing's going back to sleep. I should really have sent out Bruce Chan, actually. Oh well. Right. Put that guy to sleep, and then we're gonna try catch it, I guess. Um, first let's take down that Vigoroth. Right, sleep powder, Gramble. Come on, Blueberry. You bellend. <laughs> Man, Blueberry, you're really hit and miss these days. Literally hit and miss. Oh man, that Vigoroth has like a beard. I didn't even really notice that. Well, Blueberry gained a level from missing. Oh, and if it's his Blueberry, it's probably going to defeat it. Oh, defeat Gligar. Well, I suppose now's a good time to send out Bruce Chan. Man, these guys really do take down your Pokemon quite a bit when you're trying to catch them. Okay, well this is the Intimidate boost we need. Thank God for that, okay. And the rain stop. So... 
Um, I think I might even rapid spin it. And then sleep powder. Come on! There we are. That's what you should have done originally. Good job. Okay, now hopefully rapid spin doesn't get a crit. It's a fairly weak attack, as you know. Oh, it was a crit, and even then it didn't defeat it. Okay. Well, now we're in prime ball throwing territory. As is tradition, so... Um, how many... Let's just go with a great ball. We're not going to get it any better than that. Okay. And then you... Cotton Spore? Why not? <laughs> Hopefully this will just catch it. And it's not like that damn area does. Man, this Gramble hits hard, dude. I don't know what his attack is. We caught it, though. It was not resistant to capture. Screw you, Cypher Piontini. Your mischief is going overboard. It seems like you'd be better off having said that on a ship, but oh well. Alright, so we beat that trainer. And another item. Man, Team Cypher are really careless just leaving their DNA samples everywhere. <laughs> okay, so there's a clearly lifts that go maybe somewhere important, but I'm going to explore everywhere else first. Uh, everywhere else being this one alley with a full restore in it. Okay, well, you know what they say, the more the barrier. Right, this one up here looks like it leads out. Um, or not. Okay, well, what the hell are these then? I feel like I should go here first. Let's just take a lift. Who knows where it's gonna go? Okay. This might just lead us back to where we were before. Or oh, not. What? What are outsiders doing here? Why isn't security doing their job? That's a very valid question, actually. Researcher Kotan. Hopefully, you don't have any annoying magnetons. God damn it. Change your Pokemon up. I'm sick of facing the same guys. Especially since they always seem to hit with 100% accurate thunder somehow. Oh, Dunny Boy is not in a good place. And we've got Blue Route for some unknown reason. Right. Well, you can both put these guys to sleep, I suppose, so let's go ahead and do that. That Electrode's gonna be faster. Ah, it missed for a change. Thank God for that. Oh, why did I use Sleep Powder? Oh, why have I done this? I should use Sleep Powder on Magneton. Well, I missed anyway, but I should use Sleep Powder on Magneton. Well, that turn was a whole lot of nothing. Let's bring out Bruce Chan. Bruce, yeah, actually, no, she's Flow Rider. Because Flow Rider is still super effective, isn't it? And I don't think we've used you that much. So, we will Flame Wheel Magneton. Actually, we could dig Magneton. That might be a better option. Let's do that. And then Sleep Powder, Electrode, why not? Rain Dance? I was not expecting that. How an Electrode has a capability of dancing is beyond me. It doesn't have any legs. It can't express itself other than through facial expressions. Man, it looks sinister even when it's asleep. Hey, Flow Rider's dug a hole. Hopefully Magneton goes for... Flow Rider. Yeah, nice. Okay. We got this, man. Um, I may want to switch out, though, to... Who's Chan? Man, my, half my team's dead already. <laughs> Didn't take long. These guys, they do lots of damage to you. Especially with their stupid thundering. I don't want to have to keep going back and healing, but I have no choice. Oh, great. Yeah, that's going to help. Not... Hopefully, Dig can defeat Magneton, and then we just have to... F oh, no. We've got another Pokemon, don't they? Man. What? I didn't even defeat it. Oh, it's friggin' Rain Dance. No. That doesn't make a difference. Oh, well. Just as long as you don't paralyze. Ah! Why did I say that? Right. Sunny day. And... Triple kick. Magneton? Get that Magneton out of here. This caused too much problems already. Okay, there you go. Good job, Bruce Chan. Oh, man. These guys cause a lot of problems to my current team. It's mainly because their thunder's always hit. Let's call that bogus, man. 
An Ampharos? That's not good. Ow! Right. I don't know which is more threatening. Oh, of course Thunder's always going to hit. It's raining, isn't it? Which is why I wanted to Sunny Day, but I guess not. Okay. Which is more threatening of the two? I'm going to say Electrode. Just because it's faster. And use Thunder, which is going to hit. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Flow Rider. Now it's just Blueberry and Bruce Chan. For two Bs. That was just fairly terrible, I must say. Come on, guys. At least we can try Sleep Powder in again. Uh, hopefully this does a number on that Electrode, but I'm not counting on it doing that much. Oh, what? I didn't think that had static. I knew Amphros did, though. Okay. I did about half. Ow! Oh! This is not good, man. Okay, we have to revive something. Because this is just not going to do at all. Right. What do I do here? Blueberry's faster. Put a stupid Electro to sleep. Actually... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, let's revive something. I'm not risking it. <laughs> Could I try catch it? <laughs> Who says I'm still not evil? Right. Stupidly, Gligar's going to help again. Because it's ground type. I do need a ground type. Just not Gligar. Ah. That sucks. Good thing I bought a revive for some reason. Right. Come on, Gligar. Can resist all these stupid funders that they keep using. Okay, good. You're an idiot and went for the same Pokemon. Alright. Now. Defeat that stupid Electrode. It's caused me nothing but trouble. Oh, okay. It's going to use Rain Dance again. Alright, come on, guys. Move faster than Amphros and we're all good. Okay, Gligar's faster. That's good. That's good. That's very good. Oh, didn't defeat it. As long as Bruce Chan... No, I won't say it. What? Do you have no strategy? It's like your Pokemon do whatever they want. Why would you use Rain Dance on both of them? That makes zero sense. Okay, we're doing okay now, though. Man, I did not want to cart this lift, apparently. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Well, if I was that Amphros, I would then use Thunder and Bruce Chan. It doesn't matter anyway, we're just going to do the same strategy regardless in battering the crap out of it and hoping we defeat it first. Ow. Oh god damn it, that's one thing that makes no sense in this game. Why the hell does static work on ground types? It makes no sense. And it's like how Earthquake can hit um, like things with Levitate even though they're underground. That makes no sense either. Well, as long as we have Gligar out, it can't get hit with Thunder. Uh, Bruce Chan can, though. Bruce Chan can. They're both paralyzed, though, and that's no good. I don't know if this Amphros has anything other than... Um, thunder attacks. Oh, come on, Bruce Chan! Now's not the time! Right, we're going to heal you. Because I didn't get all of these Hyper Potions for no reason. Oh, this is problematic. Okay. What are we doing? We're healing Bruce Chan, and then you're gonna try the triple kick again. Because that'll do more damage. Ah, quit it! Okay. Come on! And do more than one kick, for God's sake. Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. That is a crit when you need it. Bruce Chan. Oh, man, that is a very flexible Ampharos. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. Hey, this place is rough. Aw, oh, crud, there's no way I'm going to let you go. Well, you clearly are. <laughs> That's the rules of Pokemon, now you have to just walk off. Oh, or maybe not. Oh, shit. Now you're stuck! There's no escape in the lab for you- What? What do you mean? What have you done? Ow, oh, balls. Okay, because I don't know what to expect, I should probably heal my Pokemon. Oh man, what have you done? What have I done? That's the bigger question. Right, and then we've got two full heals. God damn it. What do you mean I can't get out of the lab? Are you sure? 
I'm willing to test that theory. That alarm's not annoying at all. Can we go? Yep, apparently so. <laughs> Don't mind me! Man, where's the cool music gone? Can I leave? I'm worried they've placed more trainers back here now. As long as I can heal up, that's alright. I wonder if he can actually not leave now. I'll tell you, that put a loop in my plans if that's the case. Uh, God damn it, it's like I failed for stealth mission. <laughs> If that makes, there's always a stealth mission in games. Usually, anyway, I mean, obviously not in Pokemon ones. Or is there? I'm trying to think of an instance in which there is, but I don't think there is. Okay, well we're back here on the main floor now. So I wonder, are we allowed to escape? Apparently so. Okay, well I'm gonna go and heal at this PC. So I must say, it's nice of these guys to have just let me leave during this whole emergency lockdown or whatever. <laughs> I ain't complaining. They're courteous to their intruders. Now, I just have to remember what way I came from. Was it down here? No. I think it may have been to the left. Was it? No, it was here. Okay, we're good. Oh, that alarm's getting annoying. What happened to the cool music? Because that floor's been cleared. Now, I think this is the floor we're just on. I suppose we'll have to go on that left lift. Man, the fuzz is after us! 5-0, <laughs> Yeah, I haven't finished this place yet. Whether or not it's the right place, I don't know. I feel like that may have been the way forward. But I don't know. <laughs> There's no escape for you now! Yeah, I just escaped. Good job. Ah! Hi! I heard the alarm, so I came running. No, you didn't. <laughs> was there like a complex of weird, like, ventilation systems that these guys just jumped down from? How are they doing this? The Bravo and Kadabra? Okay. Okay. Well, I can take care of these, I assume. Uh, maybe not with these guys, though. <laughs> Especially not when there's a Kadabra there. Hey. Oh. Hey, I was talking about using a Vibrava. Uh, sadly, it also has a four times weakness to ice, but you know, I'm still tempted to use it regardless of that. Huh. We'll focus on catching it first and then debate. Right. What can we use to take down Kadabra? Physical attacks are good. Well, I'll just keep Dunny Boy up for that. Um, I'm just trying to think of what would be good for Vibrava. Let's use Blueberry. There's the whole sleep thing. We'll just return on Kadabra. Kadabra's pretty quick though. It's probably gonna get a hit off. On Blueberry, I'd imagine. Because it would. If I was a Kadabra, I'd be aiming for Bruce Chan. We'll see if you're clever enough to do that. Oh, yeah, you did. Well, that's about the best I could hope for. Ah, Dragon Breath. Alright then. See yourself. I may just. I really want to use that for Bravo for some reason. I don't know. The fact that I mentioned it earlier in this playthrough, I don't know how many episodes ago that was, but. I don't know. I might do it now. Um, and then. Well, right, let's put that for Bravo to sleep and take care of the Kadabra. Of course! Why do you always seem to miss with the first one? It's getting annoying by this point. God damn it, Blueberry. If only I had something of Spore. Can you get something of Spore in this game? Unless you can get a Parasect or Breloom, I would not count on it. Man. It's also not often I use a Dragon type, so why not? Okay. Well, Dunny Boy's got Cadaver sorted out. <laughs> Fuck this, basically, is what Cadaver is just saying. Alright, Dunny Boy level. Nice. Ooh, what the hell's that? Endeavor? Ooh. You know, that's not such a bad attack. It's probably better Thief is. Let's get rid of Thief could be situationally good. Such as in this battle, in fact. I'm gonna test it out depending on what else this person uses. It might be good for catching things. Oh god! Okay, we're getting out of here. Um, you, especially Blueberry. Actually? Yeah, you're getting out of here, screw it. <laughs> um, what the hell is a good for the situation, though? Let's put our Gligar to stall them. And then hopefully they'll just go for Blueberry. 
And then we can use Yawn on... How to use Endeavor on the brother. And hope that it doesn't Shadow Rush itself to death. I have nothing that really resists flying either, that kind of sucks. Oh, speaking of flying. Now as long as this doesn't go for Dunny Boy. You prick. Man. Alright then. Okay. I'm gonna have to will it down the hard way. Okay, so something that's good against flying. Octagon's good against flying. Now do we focus on the swallow? I'm gonna use sand attack on the brothers. And then Aurora Beam Swallow. What why are you faster than it? I thought you'd be slower. Ugh. Not first just standing in midair. What kind of sense does that make? Okay, why are we going for Dunny Boy as well? Oh well. Sand attack! Right, get up a few of these, and that'll render that Vibrava mostly useless. Aha! Just what I was looking for. I should bloody hope it did that, that's the whole point of the attack. Oh, we've still got a Dragon Breath off though. Ew, gross. Okay, let's just do the same stuff that we just did. Now, oh, now it's faster! Come on! Oh, Quick Claw, Quick Claw, that's the thing. Of course. Wow, Quick Claw actually did not work to my benefit then. Man. Well, this is tedious now. I don't know why it's taking the game so long to for the sand attack animation, I'm not sure why. Okay, so this time I don't want Quick Claw to activate, so please don't. Okay, that's better. We've got this now. Wow, it actually missed a fly. Okay. Fly's not great accuracy-wise, so whatever. Okay. The Brava's pretty weakened in terms of being able to actually see a damn thing. Man, it's faster than Octagon is. Alright, come on Octagon, do some serious damage. It's super effective. Ah, so close. Okay. We're taking that guy down. I'm just going to keep using sand attack. Ah. Uh, I guess next turn Gligar could double team up on the Swallow? I just want that Swallow out of here. It can hit really hard. I'm used to them having like a burn orb on them. I've been playing too much competitive battling recently. Aha. Wow. <laughs> Usually it still manages to get off a hit. A cheap hit anyway. Right. Shadow Rush, the Swallow. Aurora Beam the Swallow. Okay, we got it. There's no way this thing isn't dying this turn. Now stop raving, Octagon, and use an attack. Alright, good job. I should use Bubble Beam, because I don't know what's coming out next. Ah, Swallow! That's how it sounds, yeah? <laughs> and a Kecleon, okay. Again, something I wasn't expecting. Yeah. Oh, man, I actually got a Dragon Breath off. Okay. Now, I've had enough of you. Uh, and this will be the last thing you do. Actually, should I use... Yeah, let's do this. Let's use... Let's switch you out with... Blueberry, now that we can. And... Bubble Beam... Kecleon? Yeah, why not? I have a cunning plan. Which is fairly obvious considering that I've just sent out Blueberry. I've always wanted to use a Kecleon. Hint, hint game. No, I already have my normal type, but even so, it'd be interesting. And same with Cast Form. I've always wanted to use those guys. They're like third gen novelty Pokemon. And speaking of novelty Pokemon, I'd like to use a Shed Injure and things like that, but still, I don't know. I always like the idea is there, and then I always just get round to almost using them and then decide against it. Alright, we are sleep out at stupid brother. And actually no, no 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 no. Let's Mega Drain the Kecleon like my plan was. And then Rain Dance? Why the hell not? Oh how are you getting these hits off? Rubbish. Oh Octagon's dead. No rain dancing. 
Oh, that stings. Right. Bruce Chan, come on here. You can get the attack down? Not that that really matters. You never know. I don't think I've seen the Vibrav use anything else other than Dragon Breath. Does it know anything else? Not even Shadow Rush. Okay. Come on, Mega Drain. Should be super effective if I've done this right. There we go. Wow, that really didn't do that much even still. Okay. So how about we sleep out of the brother finally and triple kick Kecleon. What's a bad damn time you missed again? Come on. Get rid of that thing. Yep. Making it fighting type will not help you, sir. See you in hell, candy boy. Right, now it's just this damn for brother. Man, this thing's feisty, I'll give it that. If I'm gonna use it, it's gonna be pretty good. Alright, so. We could probably both attack it and it would survive. Hopefully, that doesn't backfire on me. Right, so. Let us Mega Drain and Triple Kick. And that for brother's really quick as well. See how much this does. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Hopefully Mega Drain. Oh, okay, it's paralyzed anyway. Right. So I will Mega Drain, and then I'll also. This seems like it is worthy of an Ultra Ball. Let's use an Ultra Ball. Come on. And then I'll put this guy on my team over Gligar. As useful as Gligar has been, I do really want to test out this for Brother. Yeah, and it complied pretty much instantly. Nice. Ooh, that was intense. Damn. Dad, we're back with the stupid alarm sound. Oh, there's a guy back there. We're actually going to go up, though, uh, and get the Vibrava and probably call it an episode. This place is massive, though. I still have to explore this lift on my right, as well as I have to go ahead down on the bottom floor. I probably should have done that first. I don't know what's in that room, uh, so I suppose we'll find out in the next episode. Nyah! See what I did there? Right. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> this place is annoying. That's something I've noticed. Look, you walk in and you're in the back, suddenly at the front. Magic! It's not like Wench has no will of her own here. She'll just follow wherever I go. Not even questioning why I would be running back and forward. What are you doing? And why do I keep following you? Oh, you're an idiot, Wench. Then again, you're a Wench. You're expected to be. She's just letting me do all these weird things. But whatever. Oh man, I don't. I have a headache now, and I don't know if that is a result of this alarm or not. If not, though, it's pretty accurately timed to probably what the main character would receive at this point of the game. <laughs> See, you can just walk out like it ain't no thing. So, I'm gonna withdraw the Vibrava and then save. Let's see how good you are. I've checked some of the items that are on these held Pokemon. Actually, that's a good point. Um, you, sir. How do you get items off them? Can you just withdraw items? No, okay, you have to withdraw the Pokemon. Then take the item off them, that's a bit annoying. Because uh, I imagine for Brava... Oh, never mind, you've got a Dragon Fang. Screw that, you're going to keep that instead. All right. So you, yeah, you only have Shadow Rush. You actually only evolve in two more levels, that's not bad. And you're level 43. Okay, so we're using the Brava. So that's already a full team. Unless I find something cooler later. But to be honest, I've been kind of... I don't know, not struggling, but... Having a few problems, so maybe having a full team is really helpful at this point. So we've got a Vibrava now. And then of course we've got Blueberry. Let's check everyone's stats. You've got 107 speed now, 106 special attack, that's what I'm talking about. That Quick Claw though is a bit of a pain sometimes, but hey, it's more helpful than not. Uh, you're still fairly all-rounded. You've got nothing in the hundreds, and you won't have anything in the hundreds for a while. Oh man, your attack and your special defense is really high for some reason. Didn't expect that. Well, there you go. I also thought you were faster than that, but never mind. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you 
in the next episode. Toodles.